Happy Halloween, everyone. Today we have a Wi-Fi bell, and the premise of our team is Halloween. So we are using Gargeist and Chandelure. These Pokemon are the very definition of Halloween, especially um, Gargeist. So happy Halloween, everyone. I'm going to be rushing out doing a couple things because I'm trying to get ready for this Halloween as well. So uh, let's get straight into it. Oh wow, it doesn't work. I'm, these controls are really bugging me. So, I'm going to lead off straight off with my Roman because I knew for a fact he was either going to switch into his uh, Landorus, that or Arcanine. So what I'm going to do here is lead off the Roman and go straight for the will o because I don't, I know he's going to probably switch into the um, Alola Ninetales. If he does lead off of that, that's fine by me. I do have Tarantar in the back that can uh, get rid of the uh, Hail so he won't be able to get up a Ro Aurora there. So what I'm going to do here is go straight for the Willis. This thing is going to be burned, which means it can't come in against everything I have. This little night tells is very, very annoying. Thank goodness I have something to set up weather. <laughs> and negate its hail. So anyways, I am going to burn it, and then what I'm going to do is switch out into my Tarantar. To get rid of this hail. I cannot have him slam a roar there, otherwise he can really irritate me throughout this game. I'm not trying to have that. So, I'm going to switch it to my Tarantar because he has that Landorus and because that U-turn is so much damage. I know for a fact his um, Landorus is Choice Scarf, most likely. And so what I'm, I'm going to do is go straight from the Stone Edge. I do not want to set up right now because the Landorus can just come in and just Oko me. So what I am going to do here is go for the Stone Edge. As he is going to actually switch hard out into his uh, Katara. The uh, top of Fini. Now, the truth is, uh, this would have been awesome had I actually Stone Edge it. Uh, wait, I mean, oh no. Stone Edge is right here, but the truth is, I'm actually going to double switch back into my extra drill. The reason why I did this is because I wanted to set my Stealth Rocks. Now, this thing can have Skull, but if it does, I can live the Skull. And as well, uh, I can as well um, get my Stealth Rocks, and he can't burn me. So I'm perfectly fine here just to do it. But what he's going to do actually is not even stay in. He's not even going to risk it. He's just going to switch immediately out into a Skarmory, which was a good lead. I mean, switch in. Because this way, he can uh, just defog my rocks away and doesn't have to worry about his losing his sturdy. If anything, I want him to switch into something like his um, Arcanine and give me Intimidate if he had it or his Landers. But unfortunately, it's going to be the Skarmory. And I can't Oko this thing at one shot because it's sturdy, obviously. So what I am going to do here, though. Regardless, let's go for the flame, I mean, the shallow ball, because I don't know whether or not if it's Arcanine is a flash fire or intimidate. So what I am going to do here is just go for the shallow ball as he is going to switch to his Feeny. Now, unfortunately, my um, Shindor is not modest, it is timid. And because of that, I am going to miss out on the Elko, even though Sand's up. I mean, even though uh, I could have potentially had the Sand to help me Elko this thing. Sand is going to end this turn. And because of that, I know for a fact I won't Oko him, but he cannot Oko me. And this type of thing is a huge threat to my Tarantar and a couple other other of my Pokemon. Oh, even with the Sand, I would have not been able to Oko him. That sucks. So yes, he is going to go for the Skull. It's not going to kill me like I thought. And what I'm going to do now is finish him off. So that's a dead type of thing. Him using this thing in this way, I don't know why he switched to his type of thing over his um, a little Ninetales in my opinion. I was switching to that. But he, he is going to lose the Tapu Fini. Which is great. He's going to switch back to his White Beard, the Landorus. I do have switch ins. Like my extra. Uh, okay, I'm streaming with people inside the house. My bad. <laughs> I'm paranoid. That's the reason why I'm talking so quietly. Anyway, so he is going to switch directly. I am going to switch directly to my Guard Guys against his Landorus. I'm predicting him to go for U turn, if anything. But unfortunately for me, I completely forgot he had that to work on his team. And it's because he has that that I'm going to F up <laughs> and allow him to Dark Pulse me. That was such a terrible move but on my part. Because I'm going to lose my precious Gorg Ice, which is something I did not want. Uh, but it's going to happen right here because he's going to take go for it do massive damage to me. I can't get my HP back up unless I synthesis on something. Um, but, unfortunately, but there's no way I can't see this is on anything. So, unless his uh, Landorus has superpower, but I'm down gonna throw him in that position. So, anyways, he is going to uh, Dark Pulse me. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna die next turn. 
So what I'm actually going to do is switch into my Tyranitar, which was a misplay. I was thinking that he wouldn't have Focus Blast on his Rourke. Or that I could um, live it. I, he's not Life Orb, which is something he's revealed. And I am a Tyranitar, I'm in the sand. I should be strong enough, I mean bulky enough, to take a hit from this thing. I mean, a Focus Blast from it. But uh, unfortunately, my corrections were wrong. What are they doing that hallway? Anyways, I am going to Mega Evolve thinking I can somehow live or he can just miss a focus blast and switch it to a Skarmory or a That would be the better move, but obviously he's going to take the chance of going for the focus blast and he's going to miss. I'm going to go for the stone edge of my own and I'm going to miss. That is annoying, but it is what it is because the actual truth is he is going to prove me wrong. I mean, I'm going to prove myself wrong here by, by thinking that thinking that I could live a Focus Blast, but unfortunately, yes, I am going to die. I know for a fact I'm going to get interrupted while recording. This is stupid, but I'm trying to record for this Halloween. <laughs> anyway, see, it's going to uh, knock me out. What I'm going to do here is switch into my extra drill now, though, because this, I have a little bit of sand turns left, and I'm going to uh, go straight for the Iron Head, taking out this work because I know for a fact he's going to think I'm going to sub Stealth Rocks. So, that's a dead work. Great. Now what he's going to do is switch into his landers, though. After I take him out, and I'm going to use this opportunity to set my Stealth Rocks, which is great. I don't know why he didn't switch directly into Skarmory, honestly. I guess he was just trying to take down my Air Bloom somehow. But, uh... And also intimidate me. But yes, I am going to set my Stealth Rocks. And he is going to do is switch directly into his uh, Skarmory after he U-turns on me to break my Air Bloom. And, when I'm and after that, I am going to switch directly to my Chandelure because I can definitely kill something every time I come in against this uh, Chandelure and just bop something. I mean, no, what? <laughs> I can always kill something once he switches into the Skarmory uh, because I do have this powerful Chandelure that I can just kill it with or anything else on his team. But the thing is, though, I'm going to make a misplay in switching into my guard guys. So this was a misplay, honestly. I had no reason not to just switch their in immediately into Chandelure, but I wanted to guarantee myself that he wouldn't attack or do anything crazy. Because if he had go gone straight for the Brave Bird, that could have um, killed my uh, Chandelure, and then I wouldn't have been able to Oko something potentially. It was still a risky part on my part. I mean, still a risky part. <sighs> Play on my part. My bad. Your my words mixed up. It's it it crying in the background. I'm very paranoid. But anyways, he is going to take me out with a spray bird. I'm going to get, go, I'm going to get a free switch in into my Chandelure now, and something dies. The thing completely get. Com yes, mom. No, I'm busy. That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, I am going to go straight for the shadow ball. And kill that Chandelure. And now what he's gonna do is switch into Landorus. I know he's not gonna go for U-turn. Let's go straight for the Earthquake, but I or even a knockoff. But I don't want to risk switching into my Rome against that. So what I'm gonna do is let him kill me. Switch into my Rome and go for the full switch, and then get a free switch in into whatever he switches into. And uh, yeah, this, going for Earthquake was not a good move. Honestly, he should have. If anything, he should have went for knockoff if, if he has it. But uh, like I said, something dies here. And it's going to be, well, not, well, yeah, something does die because I'm going to get switch initiative against this um, Alone Nine Tails. And my Grinage outspeeds this, which is great. So that's, that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. <sighs> Recording with people inside my house was such a bad idea, but obviously, I'm trying to record for this Halloween. It's irritating. I need to move out. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to go straight for the Hydra Pump. I mean, the extra sensory. Because I do not want to miss. Thank God I have this move. Otherwise, uh, I would have to risk on a gun shot. Or something wild right here. But, uh... He is going to go down to the extra sensory. That is great. I'm going to take a little bit of hail and life orb. It's fine, though. I'm still a good amount of HP. What he's going to do here is switch into his white beard. And what I'm going to do here uh, as well is sack something. Because I'm not going to risk this damn thing uh, killing anything. Uh, I mean, not killing anything. Killing my Greninja or my Rotom. Yes, as long as I keep these two Pokemon, Rome and Greninja, I win. So I am going to switch into my extra drill. I can't take on the Arcanine. I cannot take on the Landers either. So what he is going to do is go for the U-turn, predicting my Rotom. 
Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. If anything, I think his best move was, was to go for super power right there, but he didn't go for it. And what he's going to do right here is switch into his Arcanine. And he, what he's actually not going to risk here is a is a uh, speed hide or me as being him. So his Arcanine, I don't think, is running max speed, which is weird. He knows I'm running an Air Bloom, but for some reason he's just not going for it. He's just going to uh, switch directly back into his Landorus. I'm going to go for Earthquake and miss. I mean, not have any effect. He's going to take a little bit of heal, and he's going to finish me off with a superpower. Uh, superpower isn't so common on Landorus. I'm not sure what his entire moveset on this thing is. It's huge turn Earthquake and superpower, obviously. His final move can be knocked off. I don't know. But uh, Or explosion. I don't know. But anyways, yes, he is going to take me down. Right here, I'm going to switch into my room now. To finish him off. And uh, But truth is, I have rest on this room. The reason why I didn't go for it, honestly, is because I wanted to make this game... I wanted to make this game close. Because resting right here was the best move. Obviously, but I didn't go for it. I just went straight for the Hydro Pump. He thought I was going to go for will o -Wiz. I mean, not will o -Wiz. Uh, Vol Switch predicting him to switch out, but obviously I did not do that. The Arcanine can die to a Hydro Pump if it switches into me, if it's offensive. Uh, if it's defensive, then it cannot touch my room at all. But he is going to take me out with an insurance speed and reveal that he is offensive with uh, Life Orb, which is great to know. Um, but truth is, though, I can lose this game. If he gets a crit or if I miss his Hydro Pump, I will lose. But uh, right here, neither of those are going to happen. Worst case scenario for him, I'm going to live the extreme speed. He's not going to get a crit, nor max damage. And I am going to go for the Hydro Pump, land it, and knock him out. So that is going to be game. So I could have rested right there with my Roan. That was the best move overall. I will guarantee myself an absolute win. But uh, regardless, that is going to be the game. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Halloween. Hope you guys have a great Halloween. <laughs> and next time, maybe this next Halloween, I will make sure that I'm not in a house full of um, people who would potentially interrupt me. It just happened while I was recording. So, <laughs> anyways, th happy Halloween. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.